no one deserves to die like Holly Simmons did. And no one should be able to get away with murder. Tonight, we explore the case surrounding a grisly discovery in the depths of Inks Lake and the mysterious death of Holly Simmons, unsolved for nearly nine years. Now, in an effort to bring her killer out of the shadows, investigators are coming forward with details they have never talked about publicly. They say the 48-year-old mother was killed in her home, and the evidence shows it was a violent death, and they believe Holly knew her killer. Tonight, after months of investigating, we put those new clues together. Maybe someone watching tonight knows who killed the lady in the lake. July 7, 2009. In the murky water of Inks Lake, divers find an old John boat. Inside, a bone reaches up from a watery grave. And off the waters of the Florida coast, 1,200 miles away, a brother and sister have been reaching out for answers about their missing sister, Holly Marie Simmons. We were always close, you know, big brother always looking out for his sisters, you know. What are you thinking when you see that? Good times. But when their sister disappeared, Paul Wishman and Deborah Sherwood knew something wasn't right. Holly would never leave her children. The not knowing was the worst. Now, finally, they knew where Holly was. How she got there is the question they're still asking. Holly Simmons uh, dis disappeared in November of 2006. The story of Holly's end begins three years before her body was found in the water, just miles away from her home in Buchanan Dam. On November 28, 2006, Holly sent her teenage daughters off to school just before 7 o'clock in the morning. It was the last time anyone, other than her killer, saw her alive. Her purse, her cell phone, her car were at the house when her daughter came home that afternoon. Uh, but she was missing at the time. It was tough not knowing, okay, what happened? And then all of a sudden she goes missing? Wait a minute. The mystery about where Holly was ended here, under the old Inks Lake Bridge. That scuba diver found her remains 18 feet under the water, weighted down by 600 pounds of concrete. Someone obviously didn't want her found. Investigators want to find that person, and now we know that search starts at Holly's house. What was the scene that made investigators believe that this wasn't someone who just left on their own? Well, I'm not going to say what the evidence was. There was physical evidence that something did occur at the house. We don't think she left the house alive. Do you believe the person who killed Holly knew Holly? Yes. Why do you think that? I will say that it was a personal type of death. It was, it was someone she knew. Do you believe more than one person was involved in her death? I feel that it may have been one person involved in her death, but I think it took more than one person to dispose of the body. Lano County Sheriff Bill Blackburn confirms investigators have a handful of suspects. KXAN has learned detectives interviewed both of Holly Simmons' daughters, along with the landlord of the home she rented in Buchanan Dam, and several other people who knew her. Do you think you'll solve this case? I think we will eventually. Uh, it's just a matter of getting that right tip. They need to do the time. I mean, and, and the fact that, that this person still is out in society and we know what they're capable of and uh, maybe living next door to you, you just don't know. Eight years hasn't eased any pain for a brother and sister. Why is it so important to you all as a family that this person is caught? He took the life of a, a mother, sister, daughter, that you may not have thought was worth much. They're wrong. And the sheriff tells me he believes the person who killed Holly Simmons still lives in the Lano County area. And investigators are also looking for someone else. Remember, Holly's remains were found in that old John boat. Deputies want to know who bought that boat at a local garage sale one month before Holly disappeared. That person also bought an unusual looking doghouse, another clue that could help catch her killer. Online right now at KXAN.com, our special Lady in the Lake feature. 
We speak with some of Holly's children about their thoughts on this case and who they think committed the crime. Plus, go inside this investigation as KXAN's David Barrere takes you on an interactive tour of the case from the home where she died to the water where divers discovered her body. Just check out the investigative section of KXAN.com and we'll also tell you how to contact the Llano County Sheriff's Office if you have any information about this murder. And remember, if you have something you want us to investigate, email us at report it at KXAN.com.